Hello everybody, welcome back. We are here once again uh, in the Emerald Graves and we are kind of making our way through an estate, which is pretty cool. Make a pretty large change from what we where we've been fighting through outdoors normally. This is our first time inside an actual building. So that's exciting. Is that a cache? No, it's not a cache. I haven't heard anything from the plane, have you? No. Nothing recent anyway. Yeah, it sounds like wherever we want to go ultimately is going to be over there, so we're going to go over here if it's available. When did they arrive? A few hours ago. He's talking with them now. Blades ready! Oh, you guys are toast. Sick him, Cole. Oh, not even a chance. Okay, touch ring velvet. Malefant's journals. Malefant kept several journals. This one spans the time Malefant spent as a sergeant in the Imperial Army. I see Lauren's death in my mind all the time. The man who killed her, one of the usurper soldiers, was familiar. I wouldn't be surprised if I once shared a drink with him. Isn't that how it is now? Brother against brother? The priests tell me to remember Lauren's life, not her death. So I try to recall years past, the countless times she saved me, the day we first met, when I was a young recruit who almost peed himself at her barked orders. Because of her I learned discipline and control. She instilled in me pride in what we did. She taught me how to use a sword. More importantly, she taught me how to keep a sheath. She was fearless, strong, regal, and she was cut, do cut down like a common peasant by someone we may have once known. Will anyone remember her? Will Celine, some pages later. There is a new soldier in our battalion, Gordian. He's an odd fellow with an accent I can't place. Like he'd spend time in the marches. It doesn't matter in the end. He's been a comfort listening to me talk about those who died. He also lost friends in Celine's war, and he's tired like we are. He said a very wise thing. There is no war without soldiers. The Empress can't wage her war if we refuse to fight. Orlais should belong to Orlesians. Okay. Keeper fire staff intense elf snake guitar. Intense? How much more intense can this be? Uh ooh. A plus four percent constitution, plus ten percent critical damage bonus, and plus four willpower. Yes, 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 yes. The other one I'll probably end up giving the iron bull. Gold, hollow leather, and cotton. Wow, a lot of stuff to take. Deep Stalker Hide, Bronto Hine, Vargas Scales, Higher Weave, Vargas Scales. East Hall. We should look around. Safekeeping key part fragment. Of a key. Ooh. There's a rune inscribed on it, or part of one. And he thinks we're gonna have to keep looking for other parts of the key. Canine leather, silk. Higher weave. Huh. Back to here again. people out there. Discover the courtyard. Do I want to go out in the courtyard yet? I kind of still want to explore the rest of the house. Let's go to the rest of the house first before I jump out into the cold courtyard. Servant's letter. A neatly penned note addressed to the villa's former owner. 
My lord, everything is order for you, and everything is in order for your departure. I've granted leave to all non-essential staff and arranged transportation for the time you requested. I have taken the liberty of securing the more valuable items in your personal storeroom. Hmm. I trust you will find everything in your satisfaction. R10. Thank you for that. Templar shield. Hmm. There's a whole other side of the house I need to explore. Dining hall. Front foyer. That takes me to the courtyard. Private chambers. Hello? Goodbye. I'm surprised it didn't alert anyone from outside with all the noise we're making. Deep Stalker Bitar, Heavy Axe. Pages from Lord Morrill's journal. The journal of one of the villa's former owners, the current occupants tossed it aside. Artem is the very soul of discretion. I could have a Templar to dinner. I could have a Templar to dinner and they would be none of the wiser. If the Templars haven't gone off to do maker knows what, I might try it. Valerie complains, but the Empress herself is such an advisor. Why not me? His services are useful, and no one could better ensure our security, no matter. The distractions of the city will ease her mind soon enough. Here's the courtyard. Just to mark that I've been this way. Hey! How you doing? Walking bomb. Ooh. Nice. Beautifully well done. Cavalry. Uh, what are you doing in the leaves? Yeah. Sorry. Denied. Oh no, Dorian. That seems to be the last of them. We struck a blow against the free men. Nice. A letter bearing the temple or Templar seal. Have a chat with Malefet. Make sure everything's running smoothly. While there, see if any of his men might wish to volunteer their services in Empress Emprise de Lyon. He could always use a few more. Be discreet. Malefant's still useful. I doubt he'd remain so if he thinks we're stealing his older. Alts, they older chose seat. the wrong friends. That they did, Cole. That's why I chose you as my friend. Because you are our right friend. Alright. Red Templar note, which I didn't get to read, apparently. Ew. Ew. What in the world? Study. 
a long walk to Halamasheral. Only 65 of our group made it to Halamasheral. Some gave up, some sickened, especially the little ones. Bandits stalked us. My mother, forgive me, I had to steal food. A child fought me for extra scraps of bread. A few days later, I carried her for miles after her legs gave out. She died, shivering in my arms. I used to have a master, a mage. He fed me well, never beat me, even taught me how to read so I could do his accounts. But if he had a theory or a spell he wanted to test out, he'd get out his daggers, have the other servants tie me to a post, and carve furrows into my skin. I was so afraid. Every time I was sure I would die, that at worst I'd collapse, get banged up, and lie in bed too weak to move for days. The other slaves visited me in secret to survey the damage. I'd heal just enough before he needed blood again. This is why I traveled from Vol Dorma to the Dales without nothing but rags on my back. That is why there were 105 of us when we set out, all elven. That is why I fell to my knees and wept when we crossed through the gates of my new home, a village for my people. Anonymous account of the long walk, as told by to Brother Pekor of Ferelden, circular, circular, circa 140 ancient. Malefence Journals. Um, Malefant kept several journals. This one appears recently written. I don't know what we're doing anymore. Our hearts were pure when we started. I have to wonder if we've lost our way. The Templars are terrifying. When I speak to the Knight Captain, I feel uneasy. There is something unsettling about his eyes and voice. They keep making offers, more shipments to guards, more men to be escorted to their keep. I just know. No more grousing. I can't let my doubt show. Others take their cue from me. They must stay strong. It's just for a little while longer. Then we'll get what we want. We'll be free. Safekeeping. Nice. More key fragments. The Exalted March of the Dales. The Chantry story of the Exalted March of the Dales paints the picture of the righteous faithful arrayed against heathen savages. But I have long studied the Dales, and I find the acceptable version of the tale to be a poor one, laden with overt pro-chantry and pro-human biases. Thus it is my moral imperative to propose an alternate interpretation that the exalted march of the Dales was nothing more than an expansionist ploy hiding behind the mask of faith. Ooh. Can't help but agree with that, actually. It is easy to see on any map how large the Dales are. More importantly, they stand between Orlais and the rest of the south, and would likely have represented a significant obstacle to the Empire's expansion into Ferelden. Naturally, we stood to benefit from propagating the narrative of a hostile, an unreasoning people attacking innocent missionaries and making blood sacrifices of good Andrastian babies. The likely truth is that the elves merely wished to maintain sovereignty over lands promised to them by blessed Andraste herself, exactly, when the humans showed clear intent to undermine their autonomy. Of course, the elves reacted by becoming increasingly isolationist, which suited the empire perfectly. Here was a kingdom that spurned diplomatic overtures and that refused to lend aid during the second blight when the Darkspawn attacked Mon Simar. The Dalish kingdom could not be anything but a dormant threat, one that needed to be crushed before it awoke. Before it awoke. Scholars pointed to the massacre at Red Crossing as the imp impetus for the Chantry's declaration of an exalted march on the elven kingdom in the Dales. They conveniently ignored the fact that no one alive truly knows what happened at Red Crossing or why the elves attacked. The Chantry's response to the elven aggression that resulted in the slaughter of hundreds was predictable. But in light of my thesis, perhaps we should re-examine the events of Red Crossing and wonder if the attack was truly unprovoked, or whether it's impossible that someone saw benefit in sacrificing an entire village to justify the subjugation of an entire people. From a new perspective in Exalted March, a pamphlet by an anonymous author, published by the University of Orlais in 912 Dragon. So I personally am, consider myself a practicing religious man, but I would never impose my religion on other people. Definitely not. I mean, I, what works for me works for me, and what works for other people works for other people, and just leave, leave it at that as long as we're not hurting each other. You can believe whatever you want, you know, as long as you're not hurting other people. Um, so I never, like, I hate it when people use violence in the name of faith, in the name of religion, because it gives, it gives religion a bad name. And there are a lot of people who are anti-religion or anti-organized religion. Um, and I think that's a little unfair, because I'd like to believe that um, for many people, 
most people, I have to believe religion is a very positive thing and it helps and motivates and encourages people to be good people. Not saying that you have to be religious at all to be a good person. You know, um, my fiance is an atheist and he is a very good person. Um, in fact, I actually admire that in him because I don't know if I didn't, if I wasn't raised religious, I don't know how good of a person I would actually be because I feel like I kind of, um, I kind of, kind of always had it and therefore it was always a part of me and a part of what helped develop and grow my, my personality, but it's not the end all be all in terms of how good of a person, whether you have a faith or a religion or not. So anyway, what I'm trying to say without getting, getting it too long is I was never, I'm always against, especially throughout history, whenever people are persecuted simply because they don't share the same faith as you or have the same religion as you. Um, because that's just not right. And it's, I, I, I do not condemn that at all. And I think that what the Chantry ended up doing, I don't think the Chantry as a whole did it, but the people who were involved in this from the Chantry in the name of the Maker um, were, were corrupt and were wrong. A letter to Maliphant. Maliphant, I'm sending men to discuss some changes. It's nothing dire. You'll find the demands perfectly reasonable. We're willing to compensate you for any inconvenience. I want our relationship to be mutually beneficial. It's been going so well, each of us with our crusades. C. Lustrous cotton, fade touch lustrous cotton, ivory halifi green. Hmm. Yeah, I need the key. Maybe I need to knock down this door to find the last piece of the key. Read the inscription. Oh wow. Red Lyrium. So, they were making money off the Templars. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Yeah, that's what their plan was, the free men and all that good stuff. Malefant's journals. Malefant kept several journals. This one details the founding of the free men of the Dales. August and I have established outposts and outposts in the Emerald Graves. We are spreading the work the word to both armies. I'm sick of good Orlesian men and women dying for someone else's cause. It ends now. Orlais should belong to us, the people who defended her borders, who tilled her fields. If we are to fight and kill for something, let it be that, several pages later. Templars approached us. They are not the old order I knew, but they have offered weapons and gold if we help bring the supplies through the Emerald Graves. If we are to free the Dales from the grasp of the nobility, we need what they have to offer. It's a deal with a demon, but our cause is worthwhile. Hmm. Is it, though? Is it? An official appraisal. A note addressed to the villa's former owner lies next to an unusual device. Lord Morel, I pose a few questions to my contacts in the White Spire. Discreetly, of course, lest that they want the peace for themselves. From what I can gather, the device, rustically dubbed Illyrium Aperlen, is meant to restore broken ruins. They are not widely used. Some suggest that if the rune were affixed, uh, affixed to an object, the device would restore the item itself although I was unable to confirm the truth of this. This is purely academic, as it requires a mage to function. It is nevertheless a rare piece, prized among the collectors of curiosities. I trust you are pleased with the purchase. Sincerely, Emile Fabre, collector and purveyor of unique ephemerae. So that name sounds familiar. Place the fragments. Still need something. Hmm. Investigate the fatal. Still missing pieces of the key. Continue looking around the, the study for something. Hmm. Personal storeroom. There's nothing else in here. Something's missing. <sighs> Probably something that's in this this door. All right, we gotta keep searching, guys. Rune engraved key required. Crystal Grace. Ooh, this is a rare item. Come on, we gotta search. Not sure if there's any parts of this map that I haven't been to yet. Safekeeping. Have I not been to this room yet? Find a way to resemble the ruined key. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Oh, we didn't go into this area. 
Mercenary Captain Shield and Captain Blade. Laurel, Lady Morel's Diary. The diary of one of the villa's former owners, the current occupants tossed it roughly aside. All this fuss over Gaspard and Celine. The talk was amusing enough. Now we hear of the conflict between the Imperial Army and the soldiers supporting the usurper. The thought of them coming here is frightful. Mother is right. Our most fashionable acquaintances will summer in the city. Uh, we should do the same. Raymond is stubborn, of course. All his little tricks and trinkets are here. I indulge his eccentricities, mostly to annoy Mother, but we cannot have everything sent to Royal Valroyo on such short notice. He does insist we keep Artem on. He refuses to do without the man's services. I suppose he views Artem as another piece of his collection. Still, such devotion to a servant. Hmm. Mercenary captor, battle mage, cowl. Amulet of Dexterity. We've got a lot of schematics, and I'm sure I'm going to be having fun crafting off-camera. Alright, now that we've discovered this area, let's go back. Hmm. Place the fragments of the key. Nice. Energize. Take, yeah, find a use for the ruined key. Nice. Why have so many things if you never see them? <laughs> That's true. You keep them in a safe. Why have so many things? That's true. 107 gold, a warm and helmet. A lot of loot in here. Gold, stamina amulet. Ram leather, blood lotus. Wow, lots of stuff. Bronto hide. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Wow. Oh my gosh. And with that, my inventory just jumped up. I don't know if any of those things are actually better than what we have, but if not, we can sell them or give them away to soldiers in the Inquisition. Which is how I explain getting rid of items and stuff. Hmm. Alright, let's get out of here. This is fun, I enjoyed this, this side quest. The Emerald Graves. Very enjoyable. All right, we're making progress, everybody. <sighs> it's good to make progress. Let's take a look at the map. Alright, we've got a very good chunk. Um, Varric saw enough red lyrium. So somewhere on this other side of the... Somewhere this way? I hear you found the Templar that killed you. Yes. His hurt is healed. So is mine. Just like that? How do you forgive someone who does that to you? He was frightened. The other Templars were older. He didn't know what to do. Afraid of them, afraid of me, can't face it. Lock it away and pretend it wasn't real. Mm. He fled far away. Tried to forget. To be someone new. He deserved to be punished. He was. He was. I like that. Fire Varric slightly approves. Okay. Alright. Now we can finally get to this camp over here. I think. Through here. Somehow. 
but not that way. All right, go ahead, black wall. We're moving away, but hopefully we can make it over there somehow. Not sure how, but hmm, how do we get over there? I guess we can go this way. Yeah, I guess we can go this way. Take this route. Not go. All right, fine. Apparently, I can't bring the horse with me through there. Okay. Apparently, I have to walk even further to get the horse to come to me. Peace wood. There we go. Following this road. Follow this path. See if you can go around. Those steps. This way. I think it's the way. up. Ooh. And we can fast travel here when we need to. Supplies refreshed. Looks like we got ourselves an Inquisition perk too. Oh look, there's another rift. Fun, fun, fun. Sick on black wall. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay. 
right here. A little too late. What have we got? Nothing too horrible. There we go. Woo! It seems just yesterday I was trying to figure out the mechanics of rift closing. I am so pro now. So proud of myself. So pro. Okay. Nice. And there's more this way. However, I'm gonna get there. Um, I guess I can get there by... Going through here? I don't think there's a way in there through here. It looked like there's a way through here, but it doesn't... Um, wait! No. I don't think that's... That's right. Okay. go around. Yeah, I have to go around. Through here? house over there though. Not sure what this thing is. Argon's Lodge. There must be something here. You can sense it too, right? <laughs> Have to get in here. Barred from the other side. Whoa, what are you guys doing here? You guys are toast. Scribble notes. Get your men onto the roads and hunt down the Inquisition, punks. We're losing the Emerald Graves. Have you forgotten what we're fighting for? Everything we do, we do for our future and for Orle. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, just throw yourselves at me. An unsigned message. Villa Maral's taken. Malefant's gone. We're losing our grip. What now? The men are starting to balk, talking about giving up. I love how, how the mobs are reacting to the things that we're doing. Scribble notes, when Samson made this deal, we promised you the Dales. If you could hold them and keep the roads open for our supplies. Too difficult a concept I grasp I, to grasp, I see? Enough of your fumbling. The Red Templars will deal with the Inquisition. Night Captain Carol. Yeah, yeah. Carol, that name sounds familiar. Oh my gosh, they're all pouring out. Hey, where do you guys think you're going? Are you trying to escape? Uh, no, I don't think so.
nice. Dorian. Woo! They all were holed up in there. Maybe I should check this area out first, because that's where they came from. Oh. They were all in here. Dalish Banner. Here we go, and here's the entrance. Carving knife. I think I'm running out of... I'm gonna have to sell stuff really soon, yeah. Freeman's orders, I'll probably do that. Oh, there's more people! Ugh. Use your Cloak of Shadows. Dorian and I can't both fit together. It's okay. Ooh. Go ahead and use your counter strike. I'll help you out. One again. The end. Mysterious Chateau sketch. Ooh, it's Chateau Courtyard. Bottle of Thetis. Absence. <laughs> Absence. I'm aware of how to spell it. This bottling reflects my wish that the current crop of behatted, self-styled cads would disappear. I preferred La Fie Verte as spirit, not aff affectation. Distiller Emercius Gaian. Bard from the other side. Oh, okay. I was like, no, it's not. Here we go. Intense, wyvern, ooh, it's full. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. So, um, let me just double check to make sure before I end it. Let me just double check to make sure. Teven Chopper, I don't need this. I don't need this. Belt of Magic Defense, okay. Excuse me, moi. Just finish looking around this area before I close. Because I'm probably going to go and sell now that I'm full. Take okay, mosaic piece. Okay. Nobody's in here. Everybody's been rushing out. Gotcha. August. Might I remind you, none of us really understand these heathen etchings. We're going as fast as we can. 
I would add that some of the men are uneasy about the whole thing, you know. The stories of elven curses. This weapon you believe hidden here better be worth it. This weapon you believe hidden here? Hmm. Sir Agoth's message. Felida, I hope you are well and adjusting. This is now your home. The Imperial Army did not appreciate you. Your, your Empress used you for her own purpose. Forget her. Remember, you are no deserter. You are free. Your friend, Sir August. Um, opening doors to mark areas that I've already been. And even Chopper, which I just destroyed to get another one. How nice. That must be the... That was the bathroom, I figured. Okay. I think that's all we got here. Okay, guys. Now it's uh, time for us to stop. Thanks for watching this episode. And until next time, everybody, love yourselves and love each other.